Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to HP Tech Matters. You guys loved part one of command prompt commands, and just like I promised, here's part two. These next 10 commands are perfect for advanced users, curious minds, and anyone who wants to go deeper into Windows control. First, let's change the color to get hacker vibe in CMD. If you want to change the colors, here you can see, numbers are for background and the alphabets is for font color. No, no, this is not our first command, here it is. Changes the title bar text of your CMD window makes your terminal feel personalized. Our second command is ver, short for version. It will show your Windows version quickly. Great for basic diagnostics or scripting. Third one is driver query. Just type driver query. This shows you a list of all installed drivers on your system, along with when they were installed and their paths. Super helpful when you're troubleshooting driver issues or checking system health. If you use parameter like driver query slash V, it will display verbose driver information, including the driver's type, file name, and status. And if you type driver query slash FOCSV, then it will display all information in CSV format. This format is commonly used for importing data into spreadsheets like Microsoft Excel. Type CLS command to clear the screen. Need a quick visual of a folder's structure? Type tree and it shows a full branching view of all subfolders. It's like a map of your files. And if you type C colon Windows forward slash F, then it will display the folder structure of the C Windows directory in a tree format, including all its subdirectories and the files within them. The slash F switch tells the command to list files as well as folders, giving a detailed visual layout of everything inside the Windows directory. Ever wonder what opens a .txt file or a .jpg file? Just type ASOS. It shows file extensions and their associated apps. Want to change one? Use asoc.ext equals word.document. But be careful, this changes system defaults. You can restore the default behavior by running a soc.xt equals text file in the command prompt. You can verify the association by running a soc.extension name and you should see default extension. Not sure which account you're logged into? Just type WAMI. It shows the exact user and domain. Helpful for multi-user setups or remote workstations. Sends command output directly to clipboard. Example, type ipconfig pipe clip. Now paste it directly into a any doc, no screenshot needed. Another example, type system info, chart clip. Here you go. Now paste it. If you enjoyed this video, do me one small favor. Hit that like button, because if this video hits 1000 likes, I'll drop part three with even more powerful CMD commands. A better way to view installed apps. Type WMIC product get name version. It lists all programs with their version numbers. No need to open control panel. Want to find your MAC address without digging into settings? 
just type Get Mac quick and clean, especially when setting up Wi-Fi filtering or security. Now, here's a powerful one that most people skip. Just type Help and you'll instantly see a full list of built-in Windows CMD commands, all explained right inside your terminal. But here's where it gets even better. Want to know what any specific command does? Just type help followed by the command name. For example, help tree. It gives you a full breakdown of how to use that command right there. No Google needed. This is like the dictionary of CMD. And once you know it, you're no longer limited to some commands. You can explore on your own and become a real power user. All right, I've shown you some serious pro level commands. But let's end with something fun. A little bonus for sticking around till the end. Open CMD and type curl ascii.live slash forest. Hit enter and enjoy a full ASCII animation of Forrest Gump running right inside your command prompt. No downloads, just some old school fun powered by curl. Crazy, right? Let me know in the comments which command you liked best. Or if you've got a cool one, I should feature next time. Subscribe to HP Tech Matters and turn on notifications so you never miss the next drop.